How to send crypto from your Tonkeeper wallet back into your Binance account or any other crypto exchange. The first thing we need to discuss is how to pay for gas fees. When you send crypto out of your Tonkeeper wallet, you're using the Ton blockchain and you need to pay a gas fee for that transaction. Now this depends on which assets that we're sending, so I'll talk about that now. If you've got Tongcoin, you can send Tongcoin out and pay for gas fees in Tongcoin all in one transaction. If you've got USDT, it depends on which wallet within Tonkeeper that you're using. Go up to the top and press wallet. You can see I've got two different wallets here. If you've got the normal wallet down at the bottom, you still need to pay for gas fees in Tongcoin when you send USDT. If you've got the W5 wallet, you can send USDT and just send it and pay the transaction fee in USDT. You don't need any Tongcoin. If you've got a different type of coin, like a meme coin, a game coin, or anything else, in either of these wallets, you need Tongcoin for gas. So most of the time you do need Tongcoin for gas unless you've got USDT in the W5 wallet. If you don't have any Tongcoin, you can buy it here. Just press buy sell in the middle. You can go ahead with a card transaction or you can go back into your crypto exchange. I've got my Binance account here. They have Ton. You can buy on your Binance account and then send it out, which may be way cheaper in transaction fees. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a full Ton Keeper guide down in the description and a Binance guide as well. Links below to the exchanges I use. You can get some deposit bonuses on them too. Now I'll show you how to send a coin directly out of the wallet. So come down to the coin that you want to send. I've got Ton coin here. So I'm going to press this and then I'm going to press send. It's gonna ask me, where do you want to send this asset? So now I'm gonna go over to my Binance account where I wanna send it. From here, I can choose the coin that I want to actually deposit. Now, of course, Binance accepts Tongcoin. If you have a smaller type of coin, like a meme coin, a game coin, Binance may not accept that asset. And so you can't send it into them. What you'll have to do first is actually swap that smaller coin in your Tongkeeper using the swap feature to a larger asset like Tongcoin or USDT. From there, you can actually send that into Binance because they accept those coins. If you want to know how to do that, like I said, Tonkeeper full guide is down in the description. But from here, I'm going to deposit Tongcoin. So I'm going to press Tongcoin here. I'm going to press deposit in the bottom left. And this is going to give me my uh, Tongcoin address. So we'll press this one. And it says both a memo and an address are required. So we're going to put that in when we're sending out the Tongcoin from our Tongkeeper wallet. You can see down here, I have a deposit address and a memo. So we're gonna copy and paste both of these. Deposit address, I'll copy. Then I'll go back to Tonkeeper. From here it says address or name. That's where we wanna put our crypto deposit address from Binance. So I'm gonna paste that in like this. And it says required comment. You must include the note from the exchange because Tonkeeper realizes this is a Binance address. So required comment, I'm now gonna go back into my Binance account. From here that required note is actually the memo. So we're gonna go down, ton memo down at the bottom, we're gonna copy that and then go back into Tonkeeper. Then we're gonna paste this in right here. So this is essentially our user address within Binance. So the address is the Binance address we're sending to. The required comment or the memo is essentially our account within Binance. So they know to put it into our account. Then we're gonna press continue and we're gonna send an amount of ton, so any amount that you want. I'm just gonna press max here which is this amount. You can see at the top it says, this is to Binance and then the address. I'm gonna press continue. Then from here, I can confirm this action. So I'm sending this from my wallet. My, my recipient is Binance, but I've got my memo. So I know it's my account in there as well. This is the amount that I'm sending and the transaction fee right here in Ton. Notice that you have to pay the transaction fee in Ton for every coin, unless it's USDT in the W5 wallet. The comment is down here, which is my user account. So I can confirm and send that. So I'll press this and it looks to be done and actually sent. So that send will go through and eventually land into my Binance account.